Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my double movie review of The Death of Superman and Superman Doomsday. I gave The Death of Superman a B minus. I gave Superman Doomsday a C plus. Both movies were made by Warner Brothers Animation. The movie is about 10 years apart from each other, but they are both interpretations of the epic battle in which Superman fought a creature called Doomsday and Superman had to sacrifice himself in order to defeat the creature. Now, normally uh, when it comes to movies that were released to home markets, I try to avoid spoilers, but in order to properly compare these movies, I am going to give some key details and what will be considered some minor spoilers. Uh, just to be clear, Superman does die in both movies in one form or another. That's the whole purpose or, you know, gimmick of Doomsday Creature itself. So don't try to say that that part right there is a spoiler. That's the whole claim to fame of Doomsday. It's like Bane with Batman. The claim to fame of Bane is breaking Batman's back. So, you know, it, it's uh, something that's inevitable. So what I'm going to do is I'll first give out some of the key differences between the two films then I'll say uh, one thing I like most about each film, one thing I dislike most about each film, and then in my verdict, I'll explain why I like one film above the other. So here are some of the key differences between the two movies. In Superman Doomsday, uh, the creature is already buried in uh, deep in the earth by alien creatures who uh, you know try to uh, get rid of Doomsday from whatever planet that was from. So we uh, humanity winds up unearthing Doomsday, whereas in The Death of Superman, it's similar to the comic where Doomsday just happens to crash land on Earth from a meteorite and he just starts wreaking havoc. Uh, another difference is that in Superman Doomsday, it's a completely self-contained story. Uh, there are no additional superheroes, and even though it's done in the uh, animation style similar to the Superman Adventures comic book. Uh, there are definitely uh, some differences uh, in the animation style. It's a, sort of like uh, taking that style and going a step further, but it's his own movie. It's not uh, really genetically connected to the Superman Adventures. It's his own film uh, with the own beginning and end. Whereas The Death of Superman is uh, coming off of previous recent Justice League movies based on the New 52 style of the Justice League. So there are several heroes in the Death of Superman, and they try to fight Doomsday first uh, to the best of their ability, but it's up to Superman to come in and uh, take out the Doomsday creature itself, as well as uh, Death of Superman is setting up the next movie, which is The Reign of Superman. Just like in the comic books, we had the Death of Superman, and then... Uh, for other Superman came into Earth uh, in different ways, and the question of who's the real Superman or any other real Superman, uh, Death of Superman is clearly, repeatedly, blatantly trying to set up the next movie. Uh, another key factor is the relationship Lois Lane has with Kal El. In Superman Doomsday, she has a relationship with Superman and suspects that he's actually Clark Kent, but Superman is reluctant to confirm it with her, whereas in The Death of Superman, uh, Lois has a secret relationship with Clark Kent. They have one of those office relationships that they try to keep on the down low, but everyone in the office already knows. And Lois has no idea that Clark Kent is Superman, and uh, Superman is very reluctant to letting her have any type of clue or hint that uh, he is indeed Superman. Uh, and finally, both of these movies are PG-13, but Superman Doomsday being made, uh, like I said, around 10 years ago, uh, those standards were different. So even though there is death and some blood, much of it is off screen, much of it uh, is toned down. Many times there will be a punch and a sound effect, but you don't actually see someone's neck breaking or if there's blood, you know, it's after the fact and there's like a splat here or there. But in Superman, I'm oh, assuming in the... Death of Superman, oh, there's blood <laughs> everywhere. Uh, there is a lot of on-screen death, a lot of on-screen blood. It could 
possibly be the most bloody uh, PG-13 movie that Warner Brothers Animation has released to date. So, you know, if you're going to rent these movies, you say, oh, they're both PG-13. Uh, there's PG-13 from 10 years ago and PG-13 from now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, fair warning. And I guess fair warning if 10 years from now they release another PG-13 movie, I guess that's going to be uh, quite uh, bloody and gutty and... Uh, I guess we'll have to wait to see. <laughs> so what I like most about the death of Superman was the fact that the Justice League members were in the movie and you can see them all doing their best trying to stop Doomsday, which just shows how powerful and unstoppable and uh, dangerous Doomsday is. Uh, and of course, I just love seeing the Justice League in, in general, uh, but just that, that feeling of, you know, truly only Superman uh, can stop uh, Doomsday, and when he does uh, stop Doomsday, you feel the, the weight of that sacrifice. It comes off very strong. It comes off very strong with the other heroes. It comes off very strong with Lois, uh, who, you know, of course... <laughs> it does find out about who Superman really is. But, you know, that whole concept of this creature is so dangerous that it takes Superman the ultimate sacrifice really rings well in the death of Superman. What I dislike about the movie most is how, again, it's blatantly setting up the next movie. Now, it's been a long time since I read the original comic books, but for the most part, the uh, four reign of Superman uh, people don't really appear until the very end of that, that uh, comic series. And for the most part, when their books come out, it's a totally introduction. Whereas in this film, they're saying, yeah, remember this, or check this out, or here's this character that you never see before. This is going to be important. That's going to be important. You know, it's like, it's not so much planning the scenes. It's like already constructing, you know, it, it's, uh, it's practically putting the cart before the horse. But yeah, it's just, uh, I, I didn't really like that. I would rather the story focus on uh, the established Justice League members, the relationship with uh, Lois and Superman, and the fight and everything like that, instead of blatantly setting up the next movie, even with end credits. There are multiple uh, brief end credit scenes saying, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming, check it out, this is coming. <laughs> like, I know what's coming. Let me enjoy this movie first before you try to sell me on the next one. What I like most about Superman Doomsday is Lois, in the sense that uh, very often Lois Lane has been uh, sort of the side factor in a lot of Superman stories and movies where we're like, okay, well, we got to have Lois in her somewhere, so let's just figure out something for her to do. Where in this movie, she feels like a much more complete character, and the fact that she's, you know, sort of figure out uh, Superman's real identity, even though Superman is afraid to confirm it. Uh, Lois also approaches Martha Kent and, you know, says, like, hey, you know, I, I know the truth, and they bond together. And Lois is suspect of uh, the new Superman that comes into the story uh, later on. And she's uh, really smart and really brave and, and it's just really well done in that movie. And I mentioned another Superman that comes along. That's what uh, brings out this movie because even though it's called Superman Doomsday, you know, Doomsday being, you know, a, a, what should be a key factor, the fight between Superman and Doomsday is not the A story. It's pretty much just like half of the movie. And therefore, when Superman makes that sacrifice, it doesn't really feel like a sacrifice because the fight happens and it's like, okay, there's lots of runtime left. Obviously, more is going to happen. And the movie goes into basically the return of Superman. Now, that version of Return of Superman is vastly different uh, from the comic books. It's totally its own thing, but it's like, well, if he's going to come back in the same movie, it, it feels this way. And in fact, he's dead for about less than 10 minutes. Like, you know, he dies and they have a burial ceremony. And you see, like, uh, Perry White struggling with it and Lois struggling with it and Jimmy also struggling. And then, like, less than 10 minutes later, there's the Return of Superman uh, story begins. And it's like, well, can we feel the weight of this sacrifice of this fight of this journey or this of this thing? I, you know, like no, we're, we're going on to the return. So the 
sacrifice becomes meaningless, and Doomsday himself becomes an afterthought because after the creature is defeated in the, in the funeral service, the creature is pretty much never mentioned again, never thought of again, never brought up again. And it's like, well, you could have just had Superman fight anybody. <laughs> he didn't need to be Doomsday. Uh, you know, you could have just had him fight out some brand new monster or some other supervillain, or maybe, you know, Lex Luthor actually gets the upper hand and, and, and seems to kill him. So that Doomsday becomes pointless and the death becomes pointless and you know, it makes the return less spectacular. So I understand that they want to make a self-contained movie and obviously they don't want to have uh, Superman actually dying be the end of their story, but still there's no weight to Superman's sacrifice or his return because it's like, oh, well, you're just going to come back that fast, then <laughs> well, what's, well, what's the point? <laughs> so if you haven't quite guessed it by now, the reason why I uh, value the death of Superman over Superman Doomsday is essentially because the core story, the core focus should be the conflict between Superman and Doomsday. The death of Superman was a major event in the realm of comic books. It should be a major event in the movies, especially if that's what the movie's named after. You know, uh, Age of Ultron uh, movie was vastly different than the Age of Ultron comic books, but at least in the movie, Ultron is still the main villain throughout the film, whereas Superman Doomsday is, it, you know, it's no point. You might as well just call it uh, Superman the Death and Return or Superman the Rise and Fall. Super, you know, Doomsday is such an afterthought, such a nothing, you know, it's, it's, it's meaningless. The death of Superman should have meaning. So that's why I'm high, giving higher praise to the death of Superman film. But of course, because the death of Superman film is so blatantly trying to set up the next movie to the point where I think they're making a major plot hole, and I do mean think because it might be resolved in the next film, but from what it stands right now, there's a major moment in the movie that just feels like a plot hole, that just feels like something that was started and dropped. So like, okay, I, I hope that's impressive in the next movie, because if not, then it's just... You know, you're, what what are you doing here? You know, so stop stop trying to sell me something on the next one. Let let me enjoy what I'm watching while I'm watching. So yeah, uh, both movies are enjoyable. I'm not saying that uh, Superman Doomsday is not enjoyable. Both movies are enjoyable, but yeah, when it comes to my preference, definitely the death of Superman uh, is well above the um, Superman Doomsday, despite the fact that their graves seem so close. So, once again, uh, Superman Doomsday gets a C plus, and the death of Superman gets B minus. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.